Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Puffer Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress based tutorial for beginners and this is our part 2. In this video session guys, we will discuss about WordPress folder structure. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlist to get a clear concept about WordPress customizations. So basically guys, in our first part, we had discussed about WordPress installation to our local system. Now in this video session guys, we will understand about the folder structure that actually WordPress provided. So just back to folder structure. And now here as we can see that guys, this is the folder that we actually we have installed to our WordPress setup. So basically this folder contains some of the files and some of the folders. Okay. So let's start with NB project. This is the folder guys because we have imported this project to our NetBeans. Okay. So basically NetBeans create a folder called NB project for that project. Okay. So basically WordPress provides these three folders called WP admin, WP content and WP includes. So here we need to understand about these folders. Okay. So WP admin guys basically for our administrator panel if you go to browser now here is the administrator panel so we have installed in our first part so all the panel all the appearances all the system actually controlled by this folder called WP admin and now this is called WP content WP content guys actually the main part which we actually see in our front end section here we can understand that WP content is the main folder for our front end section okay and for WP admin administrator panel WP admin is responsible for those okay so just back to folder structure so now inside this WP admin if you go inside that these contain actually some of the folders some of the files basically these files and folders are responsible to provide the layout for administrator panel so if we back to browser so now this is our administrator panel. So if I click on any of the pages called media, called pages, now here is the file called add.php and we can see that this file actually acts, resides inside WP admin folder. Okay. So if you go to a users page called users.php, just go to settings page. Now here is the file called options general.php. So here is the concept that all the files actually for the administrator panel, all files actually exist in our WP admin folder. Also, if we want to suppose change the admin details called edit my profile. So if we redirect that, there is the file called profile.php. Basically, this file actually came from WP admin folder. Okay, so just back to folder structure. If I just suppose search for profile and now this is the file as we can see called profile.php. Okay, so basically guys all these files and folders actually makes the functionality to work for administrator panel. Now it's time to discuss about the front end folder. So just back to that. Now this is the folder actually responsible for our front end section. Just I'm clicking on that. Basically this folder actually contains two folders called plugins and themes. So basically what actually this folder contains. If you go to browser, go to admin panel, click on plugins. And now this whole plugins guys actually resides means this is a plugin and this is another plugin. So all these plugins actually we can install all these plugins goes to this plugins folder. So here as we can see that these are the files for the plugin section. Suppose in case in future if you install any plugin to this plugins list all the plugins actually go inside this plugins folder. Okay. So this is for the front end section. So just back to WP content. So if you go to the themes folder. Now these are the folders guys basically these are the themes structure these are the theme directories okay so if we back to browser just I'm clicking on appearances themes so this theme contains right now these three themes called 2017 2015 and 2016 okay so all these three themes have these three different directories okay so just back to folder structure for the 2016, this is the folder. For 2017, this is the folder. And for 2015, this is the folder. Okay. So right now we have activated called 2017. It means that this folder is actually in as a live. Means this folder is working. This is activated right now. Okay. So just back to WP content. So this is all about guys. This is all about for the front end section. And this is all about the admin section. So what basically WP includes content. Basically WP includes folder contains all the dependencies, all the packages actually the WordPress uses. As we know guys that in our playlist, if you go to YouTube. Now here we have learned about jQuery UI with WordPress. 
okay so basically all the dependencies of jquery ui with wordpress exist inside wp includes folder means suppose if you are going to use any of the jquery ui features all the features actually resides inside wp includes folder and also if you back to browser we have discussed about wp list table so as we have seen in that case also that wp list table also actually extends a class and that actually class resides inside this wp includes folder so just i'm clicking on that it will actually contain all the files basically responsible for the core functionalities of wordpress so here we can see that inside wp includes folder we have multiple files and we have multiple folders okay so basically all these core functionalities resides inside this folder suppose we are going to use called jquery ui so how can we find the libraries of that so just go to js folder inside this js folder guys we have a file folder called jquery so just i'm going to click on that so all these jquery ui supports from this folder inside ui folder we have all the libraries of jquery ui section also if you want to use some of the extra features of wordpress so just back that it actually provides called tiny mc called swf upload pl upload code mirror crop and various type of core functionalities actually the wordpress provides as a default feature so in a very simple statement guys we can actually say that wp admin basically responsible for the administrator panel wp contains responsible for for the front end section and wp includes uh, basically contains all the functionalities all the dependencies all the packages for our wordpress features okay so just back to slides so here we can understand that wp admin is for the admin panel but wp includes for the wordpress dependencies and packages basically the wordpress provides as the default feature and wp content basically for the front end section so basically guys by the help of this video session actually we understood about the folder structure of wordpress so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day